Call of Duty is actually not dying. So, a couple of days ago, Charlie Intel tweeted out this tweet that said the estimated number of players on the Call of Duty title since 2013. Now, yes, it has declined a little bit, but not enough to say that Call of Duty is dying. So, that's what we're going to be discussing in today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Just before we get into it, I want to wish everyone... A Merry Christmas 2018 for me has been such a good year in terms of growth on YouTube. Um, the very start of the year, I started off, uh, I think, around 190 or less than that, maybe 180 subscribers. And we're currently sitting at 326. So thank you, everyone who has supported me from the start of the year till now. Onwards and upwards, more growth will come. I'm certain of it. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So this here is actually the estimated stats. As you can see, Ghost is at 13.2 million. Advanced Warfare, 21.3 million. Black Ops 3, 54.7 million. Infinite Warfare, 18.4 million. Modern Warfare Remastered, 10.6 million. World War 2, 25.5 million. And Black Ops 4, 9.8 million. Now, everyone's going to be like, wow, Black Ops is such a good game. Why has it only got 9.8 million copies sold and average players? Now, you've got to think, these were taken, these estimates were taken at the end of each of the other CODs and pretty much at the beginning of Black Ops 4. We haven't had time for people to buy it yet. It's not Christmas. You can guarantee that when Christmas comes around, millions upon millions of more people will download this game and play this game online. It is a fact. So, yes, Black Ops 3 has 54 point eight million or however many it did that was taken across the entire lifespan of black ops 3 so from november to november when world war 2 came out that's the amount of players playing in that so the first month so obviously black ops 3 dropped in november the first month there wouldn't have been as many players on it but after that christmas dropped more players would have brought the game more people online and playing the game so black ops 4 came out earlier this year so there's less time for people to take these stats and take a, a base number so black ops 4 came out in october it's only had really november and pretty much a, li a little bit of december obviously christmas day is tomorrow and that number i can tell you right now will shoot up but if you see the trend, ladies and gentlemen, yes, Black Ops 4 at the moment hasn't many views or many clicks or many players playing online, but that will get bigger. And it seems to be that Treyarch are always doing the good job. Call of Duty World War 2, I can guarantee you, had that many views, that many players online because it was nostalgic. People were playing that game because it was like, oh my god. They've come from Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare. All of them games were jetpacks. Now, when you release a game that's Call of Duty that was back to Boots on the Ground, you can pretty much guarantee that loads of the old players that played Boots on the Ground Call of Duty are going to buy this game because it's World War II. It's got that old COD vibe. It's what it feels like. You know, it plucked on all the nostalgia pluckers. That's a terrible description but you know what i mean so people brought it because it brought back memories of old call of duties now when they found out that this game was pretty terrible after you know a few months into the game the game was dead and that is it so this game black ops 4 hasn't had enough time to mature that is what i'm saying ladies and gentlemen this game can do fantastic it's got blackout it's got multiplayer it's got zombies yes it's got no campaign but I mean, I would a lot rather... I mean, I didn't really play campaign. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you played campaign. But I didn't really play campaign for one. So, I can imagine loads more people are going to buy this game now because it's got a blackout, a battle royale. Battle royale is like the thing of 2018. So, I can imagine more people are going to buy it. All your little 12-year-olds asking mum and dad to buy them Black Ops 4 to play battle royale blackout. So, th that is my take on it, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below because... I personally think that Black Ops 4 hasn't had enough time to mature and I think that it could do just as well, if not better, than Black Ops 3. Obviously, it's boots on the ground, there's no jetpack, it's got blackout. So, there are a lot more things going for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So, that's, that's my thoughts on it. 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below because this is going to spark a huge debate. There's going to be some people that are like, oh my god, COD's dying, shut up, you peni. And there are going to be some people that have, you know, a mutual approach. Like, yes, Luke, what you're saying is very true and you're a very honest, genuine guy. I love the sound of your voice, you're incredibly good looking. And then there's going to be some people that are going, yes, I agree with you, Luke, Call of Duty isn't dying. Or it is, but only when it's not Treyarch. And you know what? Personally, ladies and gentlemen, I would rather wait another year. So Black Ops 4 have a two-year lifespan rather than getting a new Call of Duty every year if it means we're going to get a better Call of Duty year in, year out. Because you've got to think, Modern Warfare Remastered, that was shite. It was dreadful. It was crap. I hated it with a passion. Because you can't... Bring old gen games back into new gen consoles. It just it's not gonna work. The player base is different, the map flow is different, people play different, people adjust, and it's it's just silly. And it I personally think that it was a horrible thing to do, but people did it, so they brought Call of Duty. That that's why they did it. It's like no other reason. So I personally think that I would rather wait another year and get a decent Call of Duty guaranteed rather than get a new Call of Duty every year and you know, it one being, yeah, it being fantastic, the next it being shit, the year after being average, you know, there's a lot of factors that could link into all of these, but that is my take on it, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below, if you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and drop a like if you did enjoy, but this is Lukey, and I'm signing out.